when you talk about buying turnkey properties, people are hoping that they could find them if they hit the 1% rule. Well, we exceed the 1% rule, and we're actually turnkey. Most of the turnkey stuff you see in Cleveland, folks, it ain't really turnkey because these new lead laws, they're confusing the heck out of a lot of sellers, a lot of realtors, a lot of existing landlords. And they are trying to sell you guys stuff that ain't lead certified without letting you know uh, that you're in for a world of hurt with the city of Cleveland. So they write an article about 50 property owners, 50 landlords being criminally cited. And the only one that gets named is Holton Wise, who was not, not one of those 50. That's the, the kind of quality journalism journalism you get from that garbage uh, publication scene magazine. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Lead certified is the new turnkey standard in Cleveland, folks. All right. Write that down. Lead certified is the new turnkey standard in Cleveland. If you are being pitched a turnkey property from a turnkey provider in Cleveland, Ohio, the first question you need to ask them is, hey, is this thing lead certified? Because if it ain't lead certified, it ain't turnkey. Not in Cleveland, right? It's actually an illegal rental property if it's not lead certified. These are new laws, and I have a whole 30-minute video explaining how these laws work, which I've placed in the notes for you, okay? But today's video is about a property that it is totally turnkey because that bad boy is already lead certified. 12041 Belden Ave, right? This thing is coming to you at 99.9, okay? Just under 100K, and it brings in $1,525 a month in rent. So we are well over the 1% rule, right? When you talk about buying turnkey properties, people are hoping that they could find them if they hit the 1% rule. Well, we exceed the 1% rule and we're actually turnkey. Most of the turnkey stuff you see in Cleveland, folks, it ain't really turnkey because these new lead laws, they're confusing the heck out of a lot of sellers, a lot of realtors, a lot of existing landlords. And they are trying to sell you guys stuff that ain't lead certified without letting you know uh, that you're in for a world of hurt with the city of Cleveland uh, because they are very serious about these laws, folks. As a matter of fact, they just uh, they just published an article uh, in like Scene Magazine talking about how they're criminally charging 50 landlords in the Cleveland market uh, for lead certification uh, building code violations. It was funny uh, because they didn't name any of those 50 landlords in that scene article. Uh, they did, however, name Holton Wise and uh, Justin Bibb, Mayor, Mayor Bibby Bibb, uh, gave a little talking point to one of the scene magazine uh, writers. With this new code enforcement, this new legislation and what's happening today, how does that, how do you anticipate by companies like Home Life will respond. They're going to be on the defensive now yeah. because now you have an administration and that's going to be aggressive um, and innovative in terms of how we hold these, you know, immoral, morally bankrupt uh, companies who prey on Cleveland's neighborhoods. And, you know, some folks might not agree with it, but that's okay because we have a moral obligation as a city to fight for equitable, fair neighborhoods. And, and that's why we're so excited about our residents' first housing agenda because for the first time in a long time in our city's history, we now have a robust housing package to hold these predatory, out-of-state landlords and investors accountable. It's that, uh, what the hell is his name? That Sam kid? Was it Sam? Uh, no, it wasn't Sam. It was that other kid, Chris. My, I don't know, the one that wears the skinny jeans that always writes articles about me. One of those uh, chode tugging scene magazines, skinny jean wearing MFers. <laughs> so they write an article about 50 property owners, 50 landlords being criminally cited. And the only one that gets named is Holton Wise, who was not, not one of those 50. That's the, the kind of quality journalism you get from that garbage uh, publication scene magazine. What the hell was that kid's name? God, he wore them skinny jeans. He had a very suspiciously low amount of chest hair. Opria, Opria, Mark Opria. Yeah, that kid, Mark Opria. Man, I got to tell you, if I picture somebody jerking off in their basement wearing skinny jeans, 
They look like Mark Opria. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but anyway, we're getting off track here, folks. The moral of the story is these lead certifications, they are important. And this property, we went ahead and got it lead certified, so it is coming to you completely turnkey, right? And it's already got two tenants in there, bringing in 1525, like I said, well above the 1% roll. There's even a little bit of leeway to increase those rents, right? You could probably bump uh, the, the tenant in the two-bedroom unit up to 875, the other one up to 750. We're very close to market rents right now, but I would say there's a little bit of leeway at the next lease renewal. Uh, I don't have the exact amount of months each of these tenants tenants hands left on their lease uh, in front of me guys because I didn't really think it mattered uh, because we signed these folks up to 12 month leases um, so you know they're going to have some amount neither of them just got signed like yesterday or anything so it's going to be like a few months right and if you're one of those cats out there that like is like oh I need to know the exact amount let me tell you this man if you're going to buy a hundred thousand dollar property uh, you're buying it for the cash flow you're buying it for the long-term investment gain it is completely irrelevant if tenant A has three months left on their lease or five months, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, folks. When you buy rental property, there's going to be a lot of variables out there, a lot of variables that are going to make a lot more impact to your bottom line than whether some dude has got three months left or five months left or 4.39 months left. You know what I'm saying? So don't. Don't uh, fill up our inbox with a bunch of dumb questions like that. The moral of the story is you are getting something that is completely turnkey, completely lead certified, completely compliant with all Cleveland regulations. Now, given all that, that doesn't mean, uh, what's his name? Opria, 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 the, chair, the, the chest hairless wonder. It doesn't mean his douchebag ass isn't going to write some slanderous articles about me, but that's okay. It's all right, folks. You know, we're going to we're going to go ahead and take those punches as they come. Right. I know. I know that James Wise and Holton Wise. I know we are a lightning law, uh, a lightning rod for landlords. Right. We're going to take that landlord abuse from you guys. All right. Because that's what we do when them freaking Wokies come after us because, you know, they hate capitalism and they love socialism. We'll take that on for you guys. Right. We'll fight those idiots because that's what we do. We shield you guys from the problems, evictions, tenants from hell skinny jean wearing dudes with no chest hair writing slanderous articles about you that's what we do that's what you hire holton wise that's why you buy properties from holton wise because not only can we sell you the property we can provide you with full service property management turnkey solutions man we know the laws we know how to stay compliant with the laws even if the laws are ever changing and a little bit sketchy we handle the rough, tough stuff that the tenants are going to throw your way because investing in Cleveland, folks, it is not an easy thing. If you don't believe me, just check out any of the Tenants from Hell shows or check out Holton Weiss TV on any of the social media platforms, right? We throw out highlight clips on the TikTok and the Instagram constantly, and you guys could see that it is rough stuff, right? That's why buying from somebody like Holton Wise is just very important, though, because, again, you get the property, but then we handle all the battles. We put out all the fires for you, right? So if you're down with all that, folks, and you want to submit an offer, we can do cash or financed. Send either to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Please include the property address and the amount you want to offer in your email and if it's cash give us your proof of funds if it's finance give us your pre-approval letter yet pre-approval letter if you don't yet if you don't yet have a pre-approval letter i was getting ahead of myself if you don't yet have a pre-approval letter but you want one you need one you need some help getting that bad boy hit your boy up all right i got lenders for you don't even matter to me where you live. I guarantee you I got lenders for you because I've been doing this a very long time, y'all. Well over a decade, well over $200 million in sales for investors just like you all over the world. I have lenders who will do people in all 50 states. We even have folks that will hook up investors who are foreign nationals, right? Canadians, folks in the UK, folks in Singapore, United Arab Emirates. We got clients from all over, right? We've just been, you know, you're doing that much business, right, with investors from all over. You know, we've just been networking and, you know, just building up just, a, you know, a huge Rolodex of these types of contacts, right? Uh, so I have a whole curated list ready for you guys. So if you guys need that, you're trying to get started in investing and you're not ready 
to make an offer yet because you need that financing piece, just hit me up, sales at HoltonWeiss.com. Uh, my team will get you my list of contacts. And we'll go ahead and throw on some other contacts on there that you're going to need too. Uh, how about some property inspectors, some contractors, plumbers, accountants, uh, CPAs, 1031 exchange folks, right? We're just going to go ahead and give you my whole network of people that I utilize, team members that I utilize to do what I do. We're going to go ahead and hook you guys up with all of those. And you don't have to utilize these folks in just the Cleveland market, y'all. A lot of these people work nationwide as well, right? So if you're trying to do stuff in Kansas City, Detroit, Indy, these people can help you. My team can help you, right? I got this whole thing set up. To protect you guys as landlords, we're out here fighting the fight for landlords like you so you can passively invest. Let's go. If I had to do New basement steps, these are nice. Okay. There they are. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen. Hello. Hey. You just got here. Yeah, I was just not. Oh, okay. If you need the outside, if he's in the basement right now, we'll just go up and go put him down. Dusty. That's weird. Only one furnace here. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.